Oh, the water's pretty strong. Yeah, it's, um, like you said, it's, um, it's good to sit some people in the front just to plane it off because it, it'll want to pop up a little bit. Yep. Um, and I said, and I think if we had some more time, we'd probably mess around with different pitches of the prop to get it a little bit more pull out. But once this thing planes off, it's you know, off to the races. Yeah, how fast do you think it goes, Justin? When we, uh, when we had it on flat water, Got it up to, now the um, fish finder has a speedometer on it, uh -huh. so um, that's how we try to think it's a little bit more accurate, but uh, about 42, 43 with the trim down, and then you guys, like I said, you can start making some adjustments to the trim. I think we popped that about 45 or 46. Mm. Well, I really appreciate you doing this for us, Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so when you hear the water drain out of the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what that this is what that looks like. Um Okay. In there. And this is this is seven sixteen. So when you hear that all drain out. So you drain out this side of the block. And then we've got the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Let me get that camera, I'll show you where this one is. Perfect. Okay. And it's that gold one right there. I noticed that too, yeah. yeah. I love the little uh, cooler thing in the front. It, it reduces your need to, I mean, you could probably put, you know, 10 sodas up there or whatever versus having a cooler it just gets more in your way. And yeah. And there's plenty of room inside to put stuff, right? So, <laughs> well, the fact that it has this, this cover that's kind of built in, too. That's really nice, because you want to have to out and wrap up with bungee cords. Yeah. Okay, so the other one looks the same. Yep, good. Um, what I'll do is, this one, it doesn't look the same. This one, that one over there is just directly on the block, so you can see the threads. This one, you guys want to look in. It looks a little bit different. You can see where the water's draining out now. Uh-huh. So see what that looks like, how it kind of sticks out a little bit? It's, it's like a, there's a, it, it's it's on a fitting, kind of fitting. In yeah, okay. yeah. So the other one doesn't. The other one just goes right into the block. This one has a fitting almost. So let's say that you guys 
so that, that one took us the, the longest to find because we weren't sure. Um, but if you guys put everything back together and you start up and you see water dripping, that's where the that's where the hole is. Oh, so it's, it's no issue like it's a, this stuff is like uh, like a car just doesn't use antifreeze, so the water pump sucks in the water. So you always want to make sure that you put the earmuffs on, and we'll give you those earmuffs. So they're, they're on the side there. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you just put those. And I'll show you where you can put those over the intake. But um, yes, yeah, so when you start up and you see water going through, um, that's just where the plug is. So that's another easy way to find it. And then I pull uh, this hose here. So that's uh, pretty much it. What else we do is we'll put, um, it's got some in right now, we'll put uh, fuel stabilizer in the tank, um, just a bottle of that. And then when we, we start it up, um, we'll put uh, a gas treatment in just case there's water in the tank that'll help, yep. that'll help with that. Um, and then we also have, Tom might be bringing it, it's called Fogging, yeah. So, like when I pull the spark plug, the other reason I pull put new spark plugs is because I'm pulling them anyway. And then you just it's got a hose, and you hold the fogging oil in where the spark plug goes for maybe five seconds, and do each of the eight to fog the engine, just to help keep moisture and right. and things like right. that. And then, like I said, we've been uh, um, draining the oil every year. Part of you don't have to do, but. Um, I think it's good, it's good practice. Yeah, I think so too. And um, it takes the the um, uh, manual habit, but it's like SAE 30, I think, or 25. But um, yeah. What about fogging the carburetor? Yeah, do that too. Well. Yep, yep. How, um, how do you do? Do you take the air filter off? The air filter off, and then just open up the the flaps. Yep. Um, and just spray in there. Okay. And then if you guys ever like, we've never had a problem, but if you ever have issues getting it started, we'll pull the carb, we'll put uh, starting fluid in the carb, yep. and then it'll just. We haven't had any issue. Um, like I said, to adjust that carb intake, um, it's just the air that goes in and out of the carburetor, so that is this screw right here. Yep. Okay. And then what we what we normally like to see is about. One R one RPM, a thousand RPM yep. at uh, at neutral. Yep. And like I said, when you go to different elevations, it's weird how much it changes. Mm. But um, yeah, just okay. how we kind of like to let it purr. And um, yeah, I think that's I think that's it. We disconnect the battery every time we're done, just yep. so it do, just doesn't drain it. Um, there's some things you can make adjustments to here. You don't do a lot. The owner's manual will have more, but um, with getting gas to the engine and, and things like that to keep it from sputtering or starving from air. Um, You're taking a McConaughey, though. Yeah. 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 I tell you what, of all the places, um, they've got the beaches there. So you can take this thing, drive it right up onto the beach, anchor it, you know, camp out there, hang out there, and then, you know, just jump in, in and out uh, all day, hanging on the beach. And yeah. it's a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. That sounds pretty simple. Yeah, so, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, How much is it weigh, by the way? Do you know? That's a good question. I want to say that it's, with the trailer, maybe 3,000, 3,500 maybe. Okay. I can't exactly remember. Um, another thing when you start it, um, I think... Tom, this is just cold. Once you guys, you know, you're running it um, over and over and over again, you won't have an issue. But um, kind of a, a choke or to get gas through that carburetor, um, the um, the throttle comes out. Okay, so if you just pull this out, okay. 
and then you go down. Okay, you're kind of in the choke mode, so this this pro or the propeller won't spin yeah. like this. Okay. So then what, what you'll need to do is you'll so you'll get it started, you'll get some gas, you'll slowly start to back it down, get in neutral. Tom had it in neutral pretty quick, so um, but then when it sits for a while, you have to get it, let gas run through it, then bring it down into neutral, and then so once you you click this red button in, okay, and then you hear it. It, it'll jump a little bit, you'll hear it jump. This engine, it's the first boat I've ever seen, is on hydraulics. So I guess it's because the torque of it coming out, so you're not putting a lot of stress on those brackets. You'll see it, um... Hey, what's up? Okay. 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 Good. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. Right. Tommy should be in about 15 minutes. Okay. Um. So like I said, it's on hydraulic, so it'll you'll, you'll hear it when you put it into gear. It'll jump a little bit. Uh huh. And the first time we saw it, we thought they didn't put brackets on this engine. This engine's just you know floating there. But it's got it's on hydraulic, so it'll the engine will raise up a little bit and then it'll sit back down yeah. on the hydraulic, oh. which is, I think, a pretty good idea because you don't want that torque every time putting stress on the brackets and everything. Okay. So um, so you hear it jump a little bit, and then, yeah, just, that's it. And then you'll feel, uh, once you guys get used to it, you'll feel when you're in neutral. It'll, it'll take some feel, but, um, but yeah, so here's your, here's your blower. The battery's not hooked on. But uh, so you'll flip this up. You let it run maybe five, ten minutes before you start it, just to get all those fumes out. Um, if you ever need to run the bilge, um, like it is on a pedal, so you shouldn't have to. But if you got a lot of people coming out and you want to run it, just flip this on so it has the pedal. It also has this. Um, your nav lights up front, and then you've got the the horn. I, like I said, the battery not hooked up. And then one thing to remember about the uh, fish finder, it doesn't turn off with the boat. Oh. So make sure that you to turn manually turn manually off. Because we did it once and it drained the battery and the next morning we were, yeah. we were dead. So, okay. so just make sure that you, and like I said, it won't start when you start it. You'll have to, it's always on and off. Got it. But um, this, is, this is really nice to have because it gives you, it's got a depth finder on it. So you know, you know, I'd say, like I said, we're kind of anal with it, but like four feet we, still keep the engine down. Once we start to get about four, we'll bring that prop up a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then it gives you the water temperature and the uh, um, speed you're going. Nice. So that's... Nice. Now the second bat, the second hookup or a different hookup? No, or same hookup. What, what we have is... Um, you put them side by side and just drop yeah. off the what, cable? What we normally do is we'll... Um, the one we just bought is a good battery. That's a... Um, that should be... Marine, yeah. yeah, that's a marine gauge. It's should be fine. So you see these two cords right here, the black and the red? that are sticking out here. Yeah. Those are for the CD player. So um, what we normally do is we'll keep a battery there on this side, on the oh, left wow. side, and then we'll put a battery on the right side, and we'll just use one for the, the one that comes bringing is the one that we use, because it's the older one. Yep. That's what we use to do the, uh, the radio and everything. But, um, but it's nice to have, I mean, just charge it, and if anything does happen to happen, you can um, uh, have another battery to go off of. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, Thank you. That's great. I'm trying to think of anything else. Let me get you. Let me get that other key. Let me, see, let me make sure I can find that title. I'll get a bag for um. Oh, uh, perfect. All these. Uh,